seconds left. They send it down, and Mirwald is going to cover. And as Catton poked at it, as Mirwald was looking like he was going to make a motion to play the puck, and now Roulette comes in and puts Hammond in a headlock after he'd gone after Catton. And Roulette's just letting him know, hey, that's not going to be tolerated. And it looks like those two are going to be heading off. Linesman in between them as the helmets are off. And they're supposed to escalating things, but the linesman getting in the way of that. And we'll get matching minor penalty. Now, McIsaac getting into it. Oh, punch thrown there by Wilson at McIsaac. Wilson now heading to the box. Well, it looks like Chiefs are going to be going on a power play here. All these penalties at 1940 of the third period. Line Elkos keeps it in. In behind the net, Marshall Finney. Down low with Sabo. Finney walks it in front, save Bjornsson, rebound loose, Mason Finley scores! Oh, what a time to get your first of the year. Mason Finley has Edmonton within one. Well, Finley had 15 goals last season and uh, waited to, for dramatic style, I guess, to uh, get his first of this year. Lead now cut 5-4. This, uh, this shift has just been broken play after broken play. And, Almost willing this one into the net. I'm sure what's happening, Marshall Finney is absolutely overheating at center ice. There's a, he's going to get a penalty. We, the Wheat Kings are also getting a penalty. Uh, there was chaos at the Brandon net, but when the dust settled, it was Mason Finley there to smack home a puck. Johnny Sabo might also be collecting a, uh, a penalty here. So let's see what happens if this uh, replay will show us everything afterwards. Well, I mean, the goal goes in and nobody's even going over to congratulate Mason Finley because of all the brouhaha in front of the net. Wondering if they're reviewing this one as Marshall Finney got a whack in on Carson Bjarnason. Trying to keep the puck in. Can't. Gelsison trying to tap it. He gets hammered by Babcock and another penalty coming up. As Gelsison gets up and goes after Babcock, that draws a crowd. Penalty here at 13.51 of the period. And with that, we'll take immediate time out. As he'll pitch forth the puck at the near side wall, Weens with it. Oh, he's crunched hard to the ice from behind by Parker Elkos. Penalty coming here to Edmonton. And now Michaels goes after Elkos, and then Finney comes in to protect his young defenseman. And right now the concern on the Wheat King bench is for Jaden Weens. Well, the Wheat Kings will get... Their second power play of the game. The first one only lasting mere seconds before they erased it with a penalty of their own. Well, the good news is Weens is already back to the bench under his own volition. Uh, hunched over once he got there. Not sure exactly where he's feeling that one, but uh, it is going to be a penalty to Parker Alcos. So when you're trying to mount an...